we are. This is the Chickasin Project. The solar trailer. So right now, I have this thing hooked up. It's sitting on the trailer. I have our little uh, charge controller, battery, and power inverter mounted to this this uh, piece of plywood, and that is strapped onto a dolly so I can wheel this thing around. I'll give you a little demo on how I take this thing on and off. Um, this trailer is pretty light, light duty. Um, these are safety chains that just kind of hold things on, mostly when I'm transporting the four-wheeler, but I have them, I just leave them on there. Um, the main thing that's stopping this, this thing from sliding off is not only these and this board that I just unscrew and that pops off, but the ratchet straps. This thing's on a skid. Two four by fours are the main the main part, the bottom. And then I have this X bracing and some angle braces to kind of keep it square. And it, it just slides right off. And I'll I'll do a little demo of, of taking it off. Um, like I I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm not gonna get into a lot of details about about this thing. Um, just kind of the setup that I chose to go with. Um, these panels I all got from, I don't wanna name the name, but just a readily available building construction business in Woodbury, Minnesota. So you can probably figure it out. They, they kit these things up and make it fairly easy for people to, kind of beginners to, to start using solar power. And I like it so far, I need more batteries these three panels put out, I think they're 150 watt each. So it's overkill for what I have and what I need right now. But eventually when we get the tiny home built, you know, we'll start using more and more and I'll probably add on to this at that point. But um, I showed you the rack that I built. I'm going to take this wing nut off lower the rack down. First I'm going to take the ratchet straps off and then I'll drop down the solar panels so they're they're laying flat and I'll open up the back end of the trailer and I'll slide it off and then then you can really start to it's easy to it's easy to position this thing towards the sun when it's on the trailer that's kind of a nice thing too you can pivot it around throughout the day um, I don't know. It's a, it's a really nice setup and I like being mobile with it. It does hold a lot of stuff inside of there so I could see taking this somewhere, you know, off-grid camping for a week and that would be a great power source. It's kind of a nice setup. Could do like a pop-out tent off the back of it or something. I don't know. Anyway, ideas. So here are all the components. Um, charge controller, that's what I went with. Inverter, power inverter, this is 1500 watt and a deep cycle marine battery. All mounted to this piece of plywood. Um, securely fastened down the wires too, just so they, you know, if they get, if this thing gets moved around, um, the wires aren't rattling around, they're, they're fairly secure. The other thing I did is mounted it to this dolly so it has straps underneath, but it makes it real mobile. 
and nice to reposition. One thing about this is you always have to consider keeping these things dry. So I don't have, I might get a tote or something just to put over the top of it. Right now I have a, an old board with some tar paper on it that I lean up against the trailer and then I kind of slide these underneath. It keeps it 90% dry. I, I haven't, I don't do that during the rain. If, if I, if I know it's going to rain, I'll put it in the back of the truck and, you know, run the, run the uh, extension cord out to the back of the truck. So now I'm going to show you taking this solar panel set up off of the trailer. when it's down I put this little bolt through just show you this quick showed you how to secure it up when it's down you can do the same thing put the bolt through you attach it and then it's holding you know it, piv it pivots down and then it's attached so it's not going to be able to blow up and wind uh, the other thing that's kind of a thought about this whole setup is wind. You know, if you're going to have it unsecured and sitting down on just, you know, just sitting on the rack, if a stiff wind came up, it could probably flip this thing over fairly easily. So you might want to put some stakes in the ground and secure it a little bit to avoid some of that stuff. So now what I'll do is I will hook up to the charge controller. Um, I'm kind of positioning it for the day. As you can see, the sun will come up over there. And it'll kind of pan across the yard. So you want to get it in a position where it's going to collect the most sunlight. But this thing isn't too heavy. You know, I can move it around by myself pretty easily. Currently I'm just running it off of, or I was running it off of one, uh, one panel, but I ran this battery down real, real low. Uh, one of the clips in this video I had, you saw an E01, that's an error because the battery was, was discharged too low. So that's an error from this particular um, charge controller. So you just, I had to reset it. So now hopefully this battery will recharge to 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook these, I'm going to hook two of the panels up to this uh, basically splitter. And then this goes into uh, the positive and the negative. And I, just as a reminder, do this with no load so you don't want anything plugged in. You just turn off your charge control or your power inverter. Okay, so now you can see it's charging. It just went up to 66. I have these things basically, I believe it's called running parallel. There's, a, there's the, the two panels are coming down positive and positive into one line, negative to negative in the other, and then they're going into the charge controller. So this thing should charge up pretty quick, even though it's overcast. It's already up to 71%. And I'll probably, when it gets to 100, I will plug in the, the uh, extension cord to, from the camper to the power inverter and turn that on and then I'll have a, a light on or something that's drawing a little bit of the power. 
And there it is, all hooked up. Off the trailer. Now I can use the trailer to haul some rain barrels up. Pretty awesome.